After waiting what seemed like a geological age, Mount Emblade 2 Bannerlord is finally out in early access. We've been getting stuck into the conquest of Calradia all week, slaughtering armies and trying to find a spouse. So here are a few things that have stuck out so far. During character creation, Bannerlord makes you decide what your childhood is like, along with displaying an infant version of your character. For a little while, thanks to a bug, players were able to eschew the trials and tribulations of adulthood and play Bannerlord as a baby. Unfortunately, you grow up quickly and Tail Worlds have since patched out the baby bug. Expect modders to fix that soon. There's already a sizable list of mods available, as well as profiles which let you play with voice commands, which we definitely recommend. So it's likely to be just as big a platform for modding as its predecessor. Still no baby yet, however. You can become a trader or a political mover and shaker, but some of Bannerlord's most exciting and buggy moments come from battles. Thousands of warriors can clash in open fields, villages and besieged castles, assisted by siege engines like catapults and baluster. If you're the commander, you can bark orders at your troops and win through tactics, but you can also just focus on yourself, racking up those kills. Maybe you'll just hang out on the castle walls, dropping stones and explosives on very surprised and imminently dead enemies. However, it's not always easy going. AI is much improved over the last game, with allies and enemies being considerably more reactive, but they still have a penchant for getting stuck, especially during sieges. There are also some big performance issues during these massive battles, mostly when you're stuck in a huge scrum, which can't be solved by tweaking the graphic settings, turning what should be a thrilling encounter into a boring slideshow. You can also find a spouse and make yourself some of your own lamentably unplayable babies. Marriage is a bit perfunctory right now, tasking you with winning some persuasive conversations with your partner-to-be and then paying off the head of their family. There's not much romance, but settling down does mean you get to build a legacy that continues even after your death. It's a bit of Crusader Kings 2 slipped into Mountain Blade, and they make excellent bedfellows. Your spouse and adult children can also join you in battle, a family that slays together stays together. Though you might be less willing to keep bringing them on your adventures after the third time they get captured by an enemy army. Bannerlord's dungeons aren't very inviting. Mind you, freeing a family is excellent motivation during a fight so maybe it's a good thing. Keep an eye out for our full impressions on Bannerlord's early access soon.